everyone you're welcome back to my youtube channel today we are making pizza by the time you're done watching this video you're going to be amazed at how simple it is to make really yummy pizza so yes let's dive into it so first i added the yeast sugar and salt into the bowl containing flour And then I added warm milk and some vegetable oil. I mixed this thoroughly. In fact, at some point I had to make use of my hand because this pizza has to turn out great. And then I transferred the dough to a clean surface. I needed for 15 minutes. I brushed the dough with vegetable oil and then I set it aside to rest for 60 minutes. I prepared the chicken breast by seasoning it with some of my favorite spices. I used ginger, black pepper and soya spice. Guys, I love soya spice. I can literally add soya spice to anything. <laughs> and lastly, salt and seasoning powder. You know chicken breast is so tender so you don't have to bother about boiling, frying and all that long process. I simply placed on a pan and I allowed each side for 2 minutes. For the pizza sauce I combined ginger, pepper flakes, tomato paste and lime juice. After about 60 minutes, the dough was looking just perfect. I transferred half of the dough into the pizza pan. In case you're wondering, I kept half of the dough for future use. <laughs> now all you have to do is spread the dough all over the pan. Don't have messy on this dough. Spread it. Yes, keep spreading. Spread it everywhere. <laughs> For the first layer, I spread the pizza sauce. You don't have to spread so much so that the dough will not soak it all. And then I sprinkled some grated cheese. Mozzarella cheese is highly recommended. The amount of cheese you use totally depends on you and how you like it. Next I added the bell pepper. I used green and red bell pepper. For protein toppings, I made use of beef sausage and chicken breast. I spread the beef sausage and chicken breast all over the surface. The amount you use depends on you. Me, I like my own well loaded dough. And finally I sprinkled some more cheese. This hasn't even gone into the oven and it looks so good already. I baked in a preheated oven for 20 minutes. Ta-da! Our pizza is ready. At this point, I was so eager to have a piece or more. I can't wait for you guys to try this recipe because I'm sure you're going to love it. This is the final outcome of the pizza. It looks so good and tastes even better. Please don't forget to let me know what you think about this recipe and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when I post a new video. Thank you.